This is the hammer strength isolateral bench press. The primary muscles it works is the chest or pectoralis major muscle, the shoulder front part or the anterior deltoid. You'll notice with this machine it starts with the handles wide and they finish closer. It's called a converging action. This action results in a greater load being placed on the palm of the target muscle. I mentioned the word isolateral as well. What isolateral means is that there is two loading points to the machine and both of the lever arms work independently of each other. This allows us to use either a two-hand action, a single-hand action, alternating action, or possibly even an uneven weight. The exercises or the things that are developed strength for in the real world involves actions such as pushing actions. It could be passing a basketball, it could be pushing a shopping trolley or cart. The positive thing that we have is the isolateral because we know not all these actions are going to happen with an equal weight in both hands in the real world. So by pushing with a single hand action on this machine, it doesn't just only strengthen the target muscles, but it also starts to increase the strength of the core rotational muscles that stabilize the spine and can be used in powerful pushing or rotational movements. Now we're ready to get set up. Remember we mentioned there's two loading points. So make sure that you place the same weight on both sides if that's your desired outcome. Then we've got to consider seat height. With the seat height, you lift the seat up, pull it to your desired height, make sure it's secured in place. You want to have it at a height where your hands and the bar are going to be around mid chest. We're ready to start lifting. So sitting down with the chin up, chest high, stomach braced, hold the handles just outside the line of the torso. Keep that chin up and chest high, stomach braced and shoulders down, push out and away so the elbows follow the line of the handle to top range and then control back down to the line of the torso. Push out and away so the elbows follow the line of the handle to top range and control back to the line of the torso. Repeat that for the desired number of repetitions. But remember, we talked about isolateral, so it can be used in multiple ways. We just use two hands, which balances out the strength difference from one side to the other. But we can also use the single hand action. The same thing, we take the load, our chin is up, chest high, place the hand across the stomach to remind you to stabilize and brace. Push out and away so the elbow follows the line of the handle to top range, and control back to the line of the torso. Out and away so the elbow follows the line of the handle to top range and control back to the line of the torso. What this does, it, the machine then wants to rotate me off, so I've now got to use my rotational core muscles, such as my obliques, to help stabilize me so I can produce the force production in a forward direction. So it increases my strength through rotational pushing style movements. We can also use the two hands in an alternating mode as well. What this does is this then alternates the loading from side to side. So our obliques or rotational muscles start to work in an alternating fashion. Similar to the way the real world happens, where it quickly moves or something may transfer. Some of the common mistakes that you'll see when people are going through and doing a chest press. When they come to bottom range, they'll come too deep into the range of motion. So you want to just make sure you modify it just to the line of the torso. Also, when people are pushing with a single hand action, they will push and they'll rotate the body away. You want to make sure you keep the spine nice and straight, stabilized by strengthening through the core muscles when you control down and push away. And the final thing is make sure that the elbow stays out and follows the line of the handle. You'll feel like you want to pull your elbow into the side because it makes you more stable, but we want to put the work through the core muscles to stabilize us through this range of motion. If you want to design a balanced program, you might consider doing the hammer strength isolateral row.